Recently, I got a rather emotional email from a long-time viewer sharing a beautiful story on how his work as a musician is influenced by the little things I do here on this YouTube channel. But the mail ended in a surprising or perhaps not so surprising call. Let me quote. It's a pleasure and with great gratitude that I be allowed to hang with you and the other great musicians and music lovers in the community whim. But what really concerns me in recent months, a year perhaps, and what keeps me from participating in conversations about the music are the comments of that handful of people who come to your channel not with the intention of finding the truth together, but with the sole purpose of only pushing their own views. That wouldn't really be a problem for me if it were done in a polite way, with respect to others. But oftentimes it is not. I, personally, am not interested in a debate with people who don't care enough to do the work it requires and start their own channels and blogs to promote in what they apparently believe, but instead disturb a community to which they in fact do not want to belong. The way they go after other viewers, the wording they use, the way they speak low about you, I mean on your channel, has turned the comment section of Authentic Sound into an open debate, shout, say all you wish kind of platform that sometimes resembles a Facebook channel. I wish there were a way to return to the times where your channel was a safe haven for those who are open-minded and are willing to contribute from within the points and arguments you make with respect to each other. Maybe the time has come to install some community guidelines, don't you think? I know other channels have done it and with great success. Thanks. And to be honest with you, this is not the first reaction I get like this. If you follow our channel somewhat longer, you will have seen exactly the transition that's been described here. It would be a little naive for me to think that trying to bring change to one of the core essential pillars of a musical performance, namely the choice of tempo, would not evoke strong emotions. But Indeed, the musician or music lover I'm doing all of this for is open-minded and curious in the first place. There is a truth in what is said in this email, namely, if our core essential message is nothing for you, why coming back time after time again? And why keep posting so-called counter-arguments that oftentimes are off-topic, missing out basic contextual facts, but on top of that, most importantly, diving into the comments and questions from other viewers to start unasked debates, pushing those who truly want to participate in our journey here off the platform to which they want to belong to in the first place. And to illustrate you how far this can go, two months ago I received this public comment in which I was called a fake cure for cancer to musicians of today. Now. I have the skin of an elephant, but you would be surprised or not to know how deeply a community is impacted by such incomprehensible acts. So in short, I believe, yes, it's time for this channel to install some basic community guidelines to make sure authentic sound here on YouTube again becomes that safe haven in which all of you again can share experiences and thoughts with what essentially is one of the best communities I know. And so, how are we going to accomplish that? Five easy to understand rules will make sure that the balance is restored again. And to have the largest possible objectivity in implementing these rules, I asked John Citron to become moderator for this channel. Many of you will know John already from the live streams and premieres for which he already was a moderator. John is both a good musician, knows the details of the things we share on this channel and has years of experience moderating way bigger channels than ours. He will have the full authority to do whatever is necessary to make sure these guidelines are followed and has the authority as well to make any changes he feels necessary. So there we go. 1. Have the utmost respect for others. Treat others how you yourself like to be treated. I think this speaks for itself. 2. Think before typing. It's easy to hit submit in the heat of the moment, but 
Think about the comment before submitting. 3. Comments need substance. What do you like or dislike and why? Build any point you want to make based upon a personal opinion or facts. But keep in mind at all times you are talking to real people with real feelings. 4. The comment box is yours and yours only. Respect that ownership for others too. Read what fellow members write carefully before replying. And reply only if you think you can help or contribute to what is asked or written there. Don't reply if you only want to impose your perspective on someone with an apparent other vision. And five, don't misuse the comment section to make your case and your case only. Respect the integrity of the owner and host. You can share doubts, be critical at any times, but if you have a strong opinion that goes against everything I do, the comment section is not the place for you to impose that view. Think about creating your own blog site or YouTube channel instead. To make this point clear with the comparison, if you would shout during the launch of a new iPhone at Apple Park how crappy the iPhone is, not so many people would be surprised to not see you again the next time around. Now, it's not so hard to imagine what kinds of reactions these guidelines will get from some people. You doubtlessly will read comments ranging from women's blocking any critical voice to women's opposing the idea of freedom of speech. Now, I'm willing to take any hit of this kind if it restores a healthy community platform on this channel. You are the main reason I devote so much time and energy in this channel and so you are worth any hit I'll take on this. Keep in mind that these community guidelines have nothing to do with blocking free speech. It will not be me nor these guidelines that stop people from sharing a completely different vision with the world. Many platforms are happy to receive new bloggers, new podcasters and new video makers, often even free of charge. But if someone really wants to make the case for what an obvious idiot I am, you'll understand that the comment section of my personal channel is not the most appropriate place to do so. Essentially, these community guidelines only demand a little bit of common sense and good behavior. Thank you for your understanding and now back to work. See you soon again.